Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to go deep and we are going to go Mariana Trench deep or actually twice as deep. We found the new deepest spot of the sea and it's called Hydraulic Press Channel Trench. It's actually here and this hole here it goes 20 kilometers deep <laughs> with little bit help of this. We are going to fill this with water and then we are going to crush the water with 150 tons. And with this size at area, the 150 tons is going to translate to 2000 bars of pressure. And that's a shitload of pressure, like metric shit ton. In that pressure, water compresses almost 10% into smaller. It, it compresses like air on that pressure, so that's totally crazy. And we are going to place some items there, so we are going to also crush the items with the same pressure. And this is really dangerous, don't try this at home. Uh, the cylinder is not going to explode, that we know, but things might leak. And on that pressure levels, any leak is like deadly. So we are going to stay like really far away from this while we are testing. But in theory, this is really simple, just add the items. Two different types of golf ball. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh. Wasn't so easy. <laughs> Piece of cork and wooden ball. And then water. Okay, that's pretty good. And then this here. <laughs> I think we are ready to go. Yeah, this is twice the depth of Mariana Trench. So that's like really extreme pressure. And I'm going to go slowly. And uh, unfortunately we are not going to be able to see inside. But it's really exciting. Will the seals explode and water shoot up? <laughs> These are designed for 300 bars. So we're going to go slightly over that. But I'm, I'm like optimistic that they can hold it. Because the like speed here is really slow and we are not going to do many cycles, so it, it might hold. Only one way to find out. but we might be still able to raise the pressure. Hey, that's full, full pressure. Yeah, it went, it went all the way. No matter the leak. Yeah, I wasn't able to like track the pressure because I had to go like fast down because of the leaking. But uh, the leak was so small that we were able to keep up with. We were able to like push the piston faster down than the water leaked out. And I saw the pressure meter peak up at 250 bars on the big cylinder. And that equals the 2000 bars on that small cylinder there. Whoo! Oh, that was exciting. That was really exciting. <laughs> uh, we are going to now pop out the cylinder. These holes here are so we can like release the, or actually like raise the pressure inside here, because now it's the like normal pressure here. And if we try to lift this, it's going to create vacuum here. And that's like a lot of force. So we need to able to, so we have to like be able to open the bottom of the cylinder. And because of that, I have the holes here. Yeah, and the bottom hole that leaked, I decided to fix that. I made the same thread there as on the second hole. So I can have proper plug there and it doesn't leak anymore after this change. But as I said, the pressure was, or the force that the press pushes, that was maximum. So in theory, the pressure inside of the cylinder was already like 2000 bars. But when I took the stuff out, it looked completely normal. The cork piece was maybe slightly smaller and the wood was wet, but other than that, nothing really happened. And that's pretty like something that I expected because 
the normal chamber that we use, the ones with these windows, these go to 300 bars. And all the air that things have inside them is basically gone already at this point. It's 0.3% of its original volume. And with 2000 bars, we make it just like tiny bit smaller even. So this really doesn't like change things more than 300 bars. That's already plenty. But now when it doesn't leak at all after the modification, we should be able to see better how the water compresses. So let's do just pure water. Pure water, because I wanna see it like go up after we have squeezed it. That's going to demonstrate how much it was compressed in. So I'm going to make this completely full. So there isn't, isn't going to be any air with the water. No gases at all. So all the compression that we're going to get is from the water. Of course, this is going to uh, leak slightly on the here on the beginning before the seal is completely in. <laughs> I think the seal was a bit tired. Okay, here we go again. I made some key upgrades, mainly new seals. And then I made interesting estimations. Before like making the video, I made some risk analysis. And uh, I calculated that there is like safety factor of three on those plugs, that they're going to stay there and not fly out. And even if they pop, there isn't any air, so it doesn't like, there isn't any energy stored on the system because there's just like water that doesn't compress in. But yeah, it, it kind of compresses now. So they're going to fly. Oh, of course, it's a, like so short distance to accelerate that they're not going to fly like super fast, even with 2000 bars. But nevertheless, we sent Gelpop no pants to like inspect them. And Kelpop <laughs> hasn't learned from his previous accident not to work next to pressurized systems. So if they pop now, Kelpop is going to catch them. And they weren't like even being close to fly through our shield even before. So we have been completely safe. This is like funny touch here to make this more interesting. Yeah, but here we go crossing water with hydraulic press. Third try. Now it's going to work. <laughs> And then I also add small hole here. So the piston starts to push the water out when it's getting in. And it starts to build pressure only when it's completely in. So that also like makes it stronger. And I can only release about half of the pressure from here. But you clearly can cross water with hydraulic press. That's so crazy. That was so crazy. It actually gets crushed. Yeah, it does. That's super crazy. Yeah, then we are going to do the uh, tenderizing meat experiment. Mm. Yeah, we tried this already before with 300 bar chamber and it didn't make any difference. But there is some research and old patents that say that 2000 bar should make meat more tender. But unfortunately the cylinder seal just didn't like take any more the 2000 bar pressure. We destroyed like four seal sets there and all of them just like exploded out or something. 
So we were really lucky that we were able to crush the water at all with this setup here. The 2000 bars is really untypical pressure for hydraulic system. So the cylinder seals are just not up to the task. But luckily I have these here, check out. These are designed for 2000 bars. And the manufacturer said that if I make the cylinder tighter, that there's like less gap between the piston and cylinder, they can take up even more. And as you probably see, also the piston diameter is quite small. If we push this with full power, that's going to be 5000 bars or 50 kilometers of water. So that's a lot. So I'm going to definitely try do the meat video with this. And then if you have any ideas, please let me know. And also if anybody knows anybody at like watch industry, I think I can send some emails, but there is some kind of pissing contest, contest between Rolex and Omega. They both have made a watch that can take the Mariana trends. But I am absolutely sure that the hydraulic press channel trends is going to destroy any watch that those companies or any other companies made. So please try to get those watches here to be tested. This can like settle that race nicely. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.